All right, <clears throat> we got the trailer loaded up and we're ready for El Mirage dry lake bed here in California. And uh, with the new KTM 250 EXCF. So we'll see how it does. Looking forward to trying it out compared to the Honda 450X, which was a very heavy bike for me. But great bike and I owned it for 13 years. So we'll show you El Mirage this trip and stay tuned. We'll show you how to get in and what you have to do to pay and how the parking looks or the campsite. Talk to you then. Rose, the desert. I don't like the <laughs> desert. Why not? It's cold and it's dusty and it's windy. <laughs> and it's dirt. And it's a dust dirt bowl. Desert. All right, let's see what we got here. Choose a payment option. I can't see nothing. Let me try the other one. English. English. Push to start. Push D to start. D. Oh, oh. Seven day pass. $30. Dirt road into El Mirage. What do you think, Sweet? I'm hungry. You're hungry? All right. We'll get you some food. Stay tuned to see the spot. All right. There it is. Working in action here at El Mirage. It, uh, I think they need a little bit bigger. Smoke's coming off the side, but maybe it'll keep some of the heat in. We'll see. Stay tuned for more updates on the homemade Big A smokestack fire pit. What do you think about El Mirage? I think that I'm thankful that it rained because it's not dusty and dirty like normal. Um, a little louder today during the day than I thought. Uh, but overall, I think it's complete trickery. It's making <laughs> me think that the desert is okay. Okay. So she says it's okay because of the rain and there's no W and there's no dust. It has been no trickery too. This is a pretty good spot but there's a lot of people right here we need to move next time. We want to be out where there's not as many people especially but they're day users so it should calm down but yeah, it's provided some entertainment a little loud at times but overall they day this users is a good spot. they could go they could go all night these day users Here's our spot, and I'm going to do a little walk around, okay? Okay. And the tires are all muddy on the trailer, but we came in last night, and everything worked good. And we left the trailer hooked up to the truck. We just had to put the back wheels on blocks to get the front a little higher, because we like the, our bedroom to be a little higher. We don't want to be laying downhill. We got plenty of wood in here, and the cover is working good. And look how badass those tires look! Love it. Come around over here, we got a little more dirt on the tires. And we're here by the El Mirage pit toilets on the other side of the road, and then. There's the lake bed down there. There's 
water and you, when there's water on the lake bed you can't go but there's lots of spots and there's one main road that comes in I think it's called Mountain View Road right there and that's where you see those people on the quads and it probably goes up for a good five or six miles well probably ten miles but about five miles in is where most people are they do have they do have a nice barbecue here hun if you were I forgot yeah we would probably I mean if you didn't have a barbecue and they do have a fire pit There you go. And the last thing I was thinking about was I would have been wearing a beanie, but in Canada they call it a toque. Why do they call it a toque in Canada? And in, in the States we call it a beanie. I heard you say that last night. You said you were going to grab your toque. And I thought that meant you were going to wear one of those kind that was all over your head except the eyes were exposed. But then you just put your beanie on and I didn't think anything of it after that. Wouldn't that be like if someone's going to rob you? That's what those ones are. With well, I don't want to say it out loud since I work at a bank. <laughs> you voted. <laughs> Alright, signing out. Bye. Alright, sun's going down. And it's going to be about 36 degrees tonight. So we'll see how the fire pit does. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. And we'll see you in the morning. Hawaiian satellite. It's going up in smoke. Kind of. It's kind of sad. I know. We had that thing. Man, it really got a lot of good stations with that, too. <laughs> you said you were tired of carrying it around. I'm tired. It was taking up too much wood space in the truck. What do you think about El Mirage suits now? Trickery. It's <laughs> trickery. It's been mild. There's been no W, no dust. All right, don't get used to all this luxury. Yeah, I, I, trust me, I know. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, there goes. El Mirage in the morning, Sunday morning. On a view of the trailer before we leave. How does it look in here? Oh, look the nice coffee maker. My cupboard's left open. Yeah, no, that's all right. It's all this stuff on the couch, really. Goodies. Plate, or I should say, cooking pans, and a messy bed. I just gotta do the jacks this morning. Maybe Sweetie's gotta sweep out the trailer. I don't know. What you gotta do? Do some dishes. All right, we're all loaded up, <clears throat> ready to leave the campground. Just got to put the slide in. All the jacks are up. The motorcycle was loaded last night, but I had to put the straps down. <clears throat> this was made by Ken Stanfield. Great motorcycle rack. Sounds like the slide's farting. All right. Let's take the uh, block off. Too much dust with the nice rains we had, huh? 